Hey everyone, it's Tyler, the Antenna Man, and today I'm going to review the WineGuard YA7000C outdoor antenna. This is one of the smallest low VHF capable outdoor antennas out there designed to pick up all TV frequencies, including low VHF channels 2 through 6. How well does it work? If you're a cord cutter or use an antenna, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, but don't only do that, hit the bell icon so that way you receive a notification whenever I post new videos. You don't want to miss any of the videos I post. So I'm actually very familiar with the WineGuard Y7000C. Back when I installed antennas in the Philadelphia market, this was a model that I used in fair to strong signal areas. The low VHF capability made it possible to pick up MeTV and 6ABC on a low VHF band when most antennas would struggle. Thanks to the FCC selling TV spectrum to cell phone companies, many areas now have TV stations that broadcast on a low VHF band. Some examples include MeTV in New York City, 6ABC in Philadelphia, NBC in Memphis, CBS in Rock Island, Illinois, and PBS in Boston, Providence, and Pittsburgh. It should be noticed that most areas probably don't have low VHF stations that broadcast on RF channels 2 through 6. Make sure to run a reception report on rabbitears.info to see what RF channels are in your area, as most TV stations do not broadcast in the RF channel they show on air. On the reception report, the RF channel is in parentheses. High VHF channels are highlighted in yellow, while low VHF channels are highlighted in red. Even though this antenna is low VHF capable, it also picks up high VHF and UHF, as you'll see a little bit later in this video. The build quality of the antenna is pretty good, made of mostly aluminum. Unlike most antennas on the market, all WineGuard antennas are made in the USA. The product listing claims a 70 mile range. While this may be true if you live in a very flat area, most areas far from the broadcast towers tend to be mountainous or heavily wood where a larger antenna is needed to keep signals stable in changing weather conditions. In general, a small directional antenna like this one is best for fair to strong signal areas within 40 or 50 miles of the broadcast towers. To be clear, you should not buy an antenna solely based on the mileage claim, but rather how the antenna is designed for TV frequencies and signal strength at your location. So how well does this antenna compare to other small antennas and will it actually pick up low VHF channels? Let's find out. I tested the antenna in the same location as a bunch of other outdoor antennas to see how it performs. If you decide to purchase this antenna, be sure to use one of my affiliate links in the pin comp below or in the description of the video to help support my YouTube channel. Here are the results of the last two small antennas I tested out on my YouTube channel, excluding the results from this junk antenna that basically picked up nothing. From left to right, you'll see the TV station, the call letters, RF channel the TV station broadcasts on, and the results of the previous two antennas I tested out on the YouTube channel. All of these TV stations are about 42 miles away with one mountain ridge between my home and the broadcast towers. The signal on KYW, which broadcasts on UHF channel 30, was about the same as the last two antennas I tested out. The signal on WCAU, which broadcasts on UHF channel 28, was higher on this antenna than the 5 star antenna and about the same as a Channel Master Pro antenna. The signal on WPHL, which broadcasts on UHF channel 17, was a tiny bit higher than the 5 star antenna and very close to signal level from the Channel Master Pro antenna. The trend seems to continue for the signal of WTXF, which broadcasts on UHF channel 31. It was a tiny bit higher than the 5 star antenna and very close to signal level from the Channel Master Pro antenna. Like most small antennas, the WineGuard YA7000C had trouble picking up WHYY on a very weak RF channel 13. This is to be expected with a small directional antenna. The WineGuard YA7000C actually was able to pick up WDPN on low VHF channel 2. Now for the moment everyone in the Philadelphia area has been waiting for. Was this antenna able to pick up the trash signal of 6ABC? 
it actually was able to sort of pick it up. Unlike the more expensive Channel Master Pro that didn't even lock it in. However, I would not blame either antenna for not reliably picking up this channel as 6ABC has such a horrible signal. So much so that I called out parent company Disney in a separate video. The low VHF capability of this antenna did the trick for the RF channel 2 in my area and should pick up other low VHF channels including 6ABC just fine in fair to strong signal areas as it did when I actually installed it in the market. So overall, the performance of this antenna was very good for the size. On the UHF band where most TV stations broadcast, it performed comparable to most other small directional antennas I tested out, maybe a little bit on the higher scale. High VHF performance was about the same as other small directional antennas, but what sets this antenna apart is the low VHF capability. If you have a low VHF channel in your area that broadcasts on RF channels two through six, this is one of the smallest outdoor antennas on the market for it. I would recommend this antenna for those of you who have low VHF channels in your area and live within 40 or 50 miles of the broadcast towers without too much obstruction in the way. Anyone beyond 50 miles from the broadcast towers or a lot of trees around your house, you will likely need something larger. WineGuard makes several medium to large sized outdoor antennas with better VHF gain, including the low VHF capable HD 8200U. They also make a signal meter that's very helpful to locate the best spot for an outdoor antenna. I include links to each of these in the description of the video. Now some of this technical talk, low VHF, high VHF, UHF, and RF channels has you confused, consider signing up for an antenna recommendation from me on my website at antennamanpa.com. I run a reception report at your location, take a look at the frequency, signal strength, and even tree coverage. Determine what antenna will work best for you based on my experience testing out over 100 antenna miles and actually installing them in four different TV markets, including markets with low VHF. Thanks to WineGuard for sponsoring this video, supporting my YouTube channel, and giving me the opportunity to review this excellent antenna. Additional thanks to everyone who supports me on Patreon or is a member of my YouTube channel. If my videos have helped you cut the cord or if you just think they're cool and would like to help support them while gaining exclusive perks, such as behind the scenes content, including a video that I'll be making showing how to get unlimited 5G LT hotspot data for $25 a month, along with access to my videos ad free one day early and direct contact with me, visit patreon.com forward slash antenna man or click the join button in this video and you can also click the thanks button. If you're on Facebook, you can like my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash antennamanpa. If you're not on Facebook and would like to receive email updates whenever I post new videos, feel free to sign up to my email list. I include a link in the description of the video. Stay tuned to my YouTube channel for more cord cutting and time related videos and have an awesome day.